Paradise Killer. Hello friends, it is I, self-critical automaton, to whom space and time are mere words, not physical barriers, and it is time for episode 20 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. So it's uh, it's actually been like a week since I played and recorded any of this. I have been pretty ill. Uh, but, but Tessa, how is that different to all of the other times that you're terribly ill and still record? Well, the difference is that I was too ill to record. This is a thing that happens to me occasionally and will continue to happen because I am all kinds of fucked up. Um, but yeah, so I'm glad to be back. Glad to be making more episodes for you to enjoy, all, uh, all three of you. And uh, yeah, so today what we're going to go do is talk to some NPCs, which I did not mean to do that, uh, which yes, I recognise that we spent the last couple episodes doing, but guess what? We're going to do it some more. And if you have complaints, you can take them up with the Bureau of uh, Let's Play Complaints, which is a new attempt to regulate the uh, budding industry of the Let's Play. Can I get in here? I cannot. Of course, I need Okiko's blood vial, or possibly there's probably some other way. There's definitely a way to get into that barrack, so I'm gonna find it eventually. I think I think I'm just supposed to run along here, uncomfortably hyperspacey, which is also how I have been feeling for the past several days. But yeah, so um, over here we should be able to talk to Henry Division and, we'll, well, hopefully we can talk to Henry Division if Aikiko14 is willing to uh, wake him up for long enough for us to talk to him and discern truth from lies. And um, there's uh, maybe some other stuff hidden over here? Is it always this purple? Suddenly the uh, entire atmosphere is taking on the vibes of the bisexual pride flag, which um, probably can tell us something about the people who dwell here, whether willingly or otherwise. Definitely want to unlock this, just in case we have to come back. Bridge to nowhere. This bridge appears when the planets align. Those who walk across the bridge travel to a new reality, trapped there when the bridge disappears. Uh, should I be worried? This thing's pretty stable, right? I suppose if it disappears I can always call Lydia to pick me up. This is very different vibes to the rest of the island. This reminds me more than anything uh, of certain certain RPGs. I think this has a little bit of an Oblivion vibe from the video game Oblivion. More, more, <laughs> more accurately termed The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, which is kind of the red-headed stepchild which I've, I've never really interrogated that phrase before, but it's kind of an uncomfortable one now that I think about it. Of the uh, of the Elder Scrolls franchise, I'm starting to think that there will in fact be nothing else hidden on this island for me to uncover. But uh, the entire region of uh, the Daedric Plain of Oblivion had this horrible red filter all over it and made it very hard to see. As a kid, I would uh, cast the um, cat's eye spell which lets you see in the dark but with a strong blue filter because it was less painful to look at the bright ultramarine filter across the vision of my character than it was to uh, just deal with the horrible orangey red all of the time. Oddly enough as an adult I actually find it more comfortable to just look at the red than the blue. Uh, one of the things not a lot of people realize is that the color perception of the human eye actually changes over the course of your lifespan. Nanoro Sito? Pardon? I'm calling you something unspeakable in my native language. I wonder what language that is. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Good to see you again, Aikiko. Grand Marshal Aikiko 14. Born in Mihai Day, Romania in 18991 under the sign of the New Knight. The Grand Marshal recruits, trains, and leads her marshals in any military activity the Syndicate performs. Aikiko was born an orphan in Mihai Day, Romania during the reign of the gods. She was drafted into the army of New Knight as Damned Harmony's forces pushed across Eastern Europe. At age 13, she was leading guerrilla operations after excelling at hand-to-hand -hand and weapons-based combat. When the Great Betrayal happened, she fled to join the Syndicate. New Knight had given her a home and a purpose. She had no intention of forsaking her god. 
Once again, we're seeing slightly odd anatomy for the characters. I love the character designs, but I think that their um, underlying human anatomy is a little bit off. The arch of her back is, is too displaced um, to the underside of her torso, and the uh, centre of her trunk is a lot narrower than it really ought to be for the shape of her. But that's just like my opinion, man. I'll brief you on the murder. Um... Fuck it, it's our first opportunity to be sassy in 20 episodes so far, so let's take it. Suspected murderer, we haven't been to trial yet. Everyone gets a fair shake. Taki Dracu... Dra Dracu... Taki Draculili Dingura. I, uh... Do not speak Romanian, and I... Regret any attempts to pronounce it. Which means... Shut the hell up. Henry Division has been incarcerated for a decade. Before his incarceration, he was in arrested multiple times for arson, robbery, assault, and attempted celestial rituals. Well, we knew he had a record. He had been under watch by his school and served a short jail time for attempting to muni communicate with the gods in a failed ritual. One year later, he succeeded in communicating with the gods. Demons poured in through psychic pathways he opened. Henry was possessed by a demon and killed his mother in their apartment. We arrested him, but he had already tainted the island. We sealed off the area around his apartment, the concrete sarcophagus over the dead zone. The de Henry resisted arrest and murdered our chief exorcist, Grace Bloodlines. He's been kept here in the desolation cell full of inhibitors ever since. So how did he escape? I removed him from his cell and took him to the ritual stone. The blood pools in the recesses of the stone and stops tainted liquid from touching the island. That Labigu took his chance when I opened the cell. He pushed me aside and then he was gone. This was at 23.52. That's suspicious for several reasons. Yes, the lack of injuries. Yes, she can recall it very clearly. But also, why would she be doing that by herself? Why wouldn't she be guarded by marshals? You appear uninjured. This is Masahiro Heavy Industries' bleeding edge Shikagawa power armor. The armor wasn't enough to stop a citizen? Esti Prost. When you face a demon in battle, you get to comment, freak. How did Henry get a murder weapon? He took my combat knife. Oh ho, convenient! I, I mean, we already suspected it would be her weapon that it turned out to have killed, uh, something. When he escaped, in the struggle, he grabbed my knife. Did he attack you? No, he took it and ran. Where did you find him? Outside the council building at 003. He was passed out. The demon did its work and left him broken. He had the knife with him. I attempted to secure the crime scene, but was unable to. We were not able to traverse the second holy seal. Ah, trebui sate aduni, nabi. And wrap this up so we can execute him and go to the next island, love dies. Our orders are to investigate before we execute him. Don't drag this out. You do your work and let me do mine. Here's my report about last night. And a report on the Labi Labagu's history. I am really struggling with these pronunciations. I expect I've got all of them very wrong. Dr. Doomjazz left his medical report with me as well. Take it. Doomjazz examined Henry? When we found him, we called the doctor. It's standard practice to get him examined. Speak to Doom Jazz if you want to know more. Goodbye, Nono Rosito. Okay, but can I speak to, you know, the accused? So we've got her claims about the murder weapon, and we've got her complain her claims about what's happening. But this is all still stuff she could easily have planted, so I guess it's evidence, but it's it's evidence I'm disinclined to trust simply because I'm disinclined to trust her. But is that just because she's a cop? <laughs> Insofar as this society has cops. I mean, it looks like her main explanation for Henry's motive is simply that Henry had a demon inside him and demons do this sort of thing. Which again, doesn't really seem like it should be Henry who's uh, put on the chopping block for it. This is Dr. Doomjazz's medical report for Henry. Doomjazz examined him last night after his arrest. The Syndicate Health Assessment Document, Citizen Version. 
Examination instructions state that citizens should be examined but not administer medication or care beyond what is necessary. Patient's body is strong but fatigued, shows clear signs of possession, scarring burns and arcane sigils. Blood work shows no sign of abnormalities or intoxication. Patient had visible blood around mouth. Tests show this blood matches several victims of the council murder. Further samples confirm that blood was ingested via the mouth and within the stomach of the patient, likely ingested during the attack. Patient appears free from mental illness, but is suffering from amnesia, a common side effect of demonic possession. Patient has no memory of the decades since his possession. Patient does not remember anything about the events of tonight. Collapse most likely due to extreme exhaustion from overexertion. During the patient's possession ten years ago, arcane sigils were seared into his flesh by the possessing demon. These symbols were found drawn in blood at the crime scene. Since no exorcism was performed ten years ago, Henry has been tortured by the demon contained within him. During prior examinations, the patient has complained about the white-hot rage inside of him. The patient's body had the correct dosage of demonic inhibitors. Hmm. My final assessment is that the demon within the patient managed to overcome the inhibitors at a crucial moment. The patient escaped under the will of the demon with no memory of it having happened. Well, everything checks out. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, I think. If he was inhibited, <clears throat> how did he escape? And we already know that the fact that he had the blood in his stomach is meaningless because we found the canister of blood. Which, you know, already shows that it would be very easy to frame him for this. Of course, I do have the suspicion that he's not so much, not exactly framed for it, but, you know, he was essentially created as a weapon, so he's not really responsible for the murder. He was just kind of... You know, if you give someone a grenade, take the pin out and point them at someone else, that's really still you doing the murder. Right, let's have an actual chat with Aikiko. Grand Marshal, Aikiko 14. Grand Marshal of the God Justice Marshals. I do indeed want something. So, we've got a lot to work through here, but she's probably going to tell me off for asking most of these questions because she was in she was already being extremely obstructive. So, do you really believe Henry did this? Every bit of security breached by a citizen? This Labagiu is not a normal citizen, he's possessed by a demon. Of course I believe he did it, he broke free when I was there and we found him outside of the council building. You don't have any doubts. Are you stupid, Nanorosito? Can you think of anyone who has a motive for the crime? Investigator, Este Pebuni? The Labigu in the cell did it, don't waste my time. Okay. There's... <sighs> This is not the time to get into it, but there is a problem with uh, writers writing when they want to have a bilingual character be notably bilingual, and um, or for someone's first language to not be English, and for that to be notable within the text. And the most clumsy possible way to do that is to just pick a handful of words to sprinkle in and use those in place of English words. It's always clumsy, It's it's there's always a better option as well. Um, but now is not the time to talk about that because we are, of course, mid-investigation. Don't waste my time. You can't think of anyone else with a motive for killing the council and threatening the entire structure of the syndicate? What do you think? Is that an- Goodbye, Nenorosito. Okay, well, what about her motive? I've got a lot of things to ask her about. Have you got a motive, Aikiko? Investigator Este Pebuni? I don't have a motive, Nenorosito. I'm a soldier. Soldiers have honour and live to serve. Disparied in Fata Mea. I'll assume that's a no, then. Does your relationship with Captain Voth have, to do, have anything to do with this? No, no, at all. An illicit relationship that got found out would be punishable. I'll kill you. Careful. You've been asking for the marshals to be inducted, haven't you? It's a reasonable request. We guard these islands. But you've been denied. What if there was an incident that prompted the council to reconsider? The crime to end all crimes on the eve of Perfect 25, for example? I admire you, Nenorosito. You believe so fully in all sorts of little stories and fantasies. It must be nice being so credulous, undaunted by the world. Is that a denial, then? Of course. You were found out. You were going to be punished next to Ireland for your relationships with your marshals. That gives you a clear motive. Kill the council to protect yourself. Esti plindirahat. Which means? You are full of shit. You don't know anything. I live by the rules. I am a woman of honour. We'll see about that. See, I do kind of... 
I don't know her well enough to know whether she would uh, stick by her word and hate it, or whether she would break the rules. Tell me about your movements last night. I need your alibi. Have you read my report? Were you listening to what I told you? Este or Gluma? It doesn't include what you did between Henry escaping and Henry being found. I called witness when it happened. Uh, what time? Oh, yeah, no, hang on. We need to know when. If someone called witness, that's important. At 23.52? Yes, Nenori Sito at 2352. Ah. Now, see, this is a fundamental flaw in investigatorial technique. What we should say is not confirm this time. What we should say is, what time did you do that? One of the flaws in the writing of this game that's been really irritating me all the way through is that the investigator willingly gives information freely to the people she's investigating all of the time, even when it's unnecessary um, in such a way that it gives them an extremely easy way to lie or an extremely easy out. Uh, this is such a simple thing to avoid, and so I either have to believe that Lady Love Dies and is, is an incompetent investigator who doesn't know the simple rule of information flows one way, or that the writers didn't really think about, uh, like, investigatorial technique. Then I ordered my marshals to secure other syndicate members. What about the council? My best marshals were guarding them. They reported in all clear. But then they were killed. Is this a joke to you? Do you want to die by my hand? What did you do next? I went back to the barracks to organize the search for Henry. I found where he had torn the prison bridge bars apart to escape. The Labagu could have been anywhere. The Holy Seal Marshal stopped responding, and that's when we found Henry outside the council building. What time was this? 003. That's precise. Being precise is my job. Can anyone corroborate this? The word of the Grand Marshal isn't good enough for you, Nanorisito? An investigator can't just go off your word. Mwista. Witness will confirm the phone call. My marshals will confirm the rest. Thank you for your cooperation. Can I see your phone records? It's the brust. My records are classified. You're refusing to give evidence. C-L-A-S-S-I-F-I-E-D-N-E-N-O. Classified Nenorisito, I get it. I mean, I feel like Judge should be able to subpoena that for me. But I'm worried that if I go back to talk and talk to Judge, it'll uh, end the investigation. Alright, what else have we got? k -Hax. Do you know where k -Hax is? No, he's been missing for several days. Have you searched for him? What do you think? My marshals conducted a brief search, but we are stretched thin at the end of an island. There are several thousand citizens that need rounding up and taking to the slaughter ritual. Do you have any suspicions about what happened to him? No. If he wants to disappear, then let him. Even though a mass murder happened last night. He didn't do it. Henry did. Of course. Tell me about why your necklace is in k Hax's workshop. You think you've stumbled onto something, don't you, Nenorisito? Got me at the scene of a crime. k Hax made my necklace and it broke a while ago. I took it to him to get repaired before the end of the island. When was this? About a month ago. When he went missing, I accepted that fate has decided that the necklace was not supposed to go to the next island. It's important to let things go. So you haven't been to his workshop in the last few days? There are slightly more important things to do at the end of an island. Well, I mean, that tallies. When we found the, the necklace, my first thought was that doesn't actually mean uh, that it has anything... I mean, he's the island's craftsman. He's probably repairing shit all the time. Uh, it seems completely unconnected. So I suspect that's just a red herring, if this game indeed has any red herrings. Does the Doc have a motive for killing the Council? I don't have anything to say about the Doctor. Well, I found a photo of you in his boat. I have nothing to say, Nonorisito. Do you two have a history? I said I have nothing to say. Did you see the Doctor last night? I told you he came to examine Henry after we found the Labagu. That was after the murder. Did you see him before? No, I was busy. Did you know about a back door to Doom Judge's clinic? That Pula. He brought the power grid down a few years ago. When it came back online, that computer blew out. He was ordered to get the door fixed, but he never did. Yeah, so we've got confirmation that the that his alibi is busted. How did he bring down the power? The reality folding drive kicks out an unfathomable amount of power, but the grid is fragile. A fine balance is maintained. The doctor tapped into the HQ's grid for some tests he was doing that needed extra juice. 
There are official channels to go through to get extra power, but he doesn't care. When he gets excited about something, the syndicate moves too slowly for him. When he fired up his equipment, the HQ's grid went down. When it came back up, another number of systems blew out. It caused chaos. Why wasn't he forced to get the computer fixed? He has a lot of visitors and likes the secrecy. That Pula wasn't in any rush. He smooth-talked his way out of it. Let's see if we can zip through these. Yuri. Did you see Yuri last night? You're making me mad, no, Norisito. Who cares what his alibi is? The murderer is in his cage. We'll come back to the Holy Steel Marshals because they might take a minute. As you can see. Did you see the architect last night? You should ask her, Nanorisito. I'm not a babysitter. Did you see Crimson last night? I don't know if you realize this, Nanorisito, but I had my hands full last night. I don't know where Crimson was. Go ask her. Did you see Lydia and Sam last night? I had my hands full last night, Nanorisito. I wasn't keeping tabs on the happy couple. Alright. What do you know about the second holy seal? Oh, hey. <laughs> She happened to ask exactly what I, uh, guessed. I know the Labagu in the cell got through it and killed the council. I also know you're wasting time and not executing him. Alright, let's ask about the escape then. How did Henry escape? I thought I gave you my report. I must have been dreaming or hallucinating. Okay, I get it. How did the bars of the bridge get broken? Henry broke through them. How did a citizen break through the bars? The strength of a demon, use your head. Starlight's analysis of the residue on the bars says it was explosives. Starlight is wrong. Your little machine is trying to analyze something demonic and doing the best it can. Hmm, that sounds like an excuse. How did Henry escape if he was sedated? The Labigu played us. The inhibitors needed to be stronger. The report says they were the correct dosage. What if the demon tricked us, though? If the demon could slow Henry's body down, the dosage of the inhibitors needed would be lower. The demon maintains this act, and then when the time comes, he drops the pretense and makes his move. Is that likely? As likely as anything, Nenorisito. Not that it matters. It is what happened. Why were you on your own when Henry escaped? It was just one Pula prisoner that was supposed to be sedated. Why not take a squad of marshals, just to be sure? I'll admit hubris. My marshals do not come to the next island with us. They engaged their fa- they engaged in their final prayers. I wanted them to have one last moment of happiness before being wiped out. Soldiers aren't supposed to know happiness when duty has to be done. Yeah, I mean... I mean, that obviously puts the lie to her highfalutin ideals about the nature of soldiers and their purpose. But then, on the other hand, if she does have a thing for her soldiers and feel very deeply for her troops, it stands to reason that if they're going to be destroyed anyway... Um, she would make a, uh, make excuses for them in their final moments. Alright, just the marshals then. What can you tell me about the guards at the first Holy Seal? Soldiers of honour, my two most trusted soldiers. How did Henry get the jump on two highly ranked marshals? It's easy to judge and mock when you haven't lived through hell, Nenorisito. A demon is a vile foe, unpredictable, frenzied, blood-crazed. My marshals will have fought valiantly, but an unknown foe overcame them. <clears throat> unknown? Demons come from all corners of the heavens. It is impossible to know how each acts or fights. Why haven't the bodies of the marshals been cleared away? Judge ordered me to leave them for you to investigate. I protested. They deserve better than to be poked at by someone playing detective. Can I see your sword? There had better be a stunning reason why you're asking, Nanorisidor. I'm checking a lead about the weapon used to murder the marshals. Do not disgrace their memory by chasing wild theories. I kick her. Numa conduce nebun, investigator. Here. This sword has seen some use. The blade is nicked. That matches the wounds. A nicked blade is consistent with the neck wounds on the marshals. Thank you, Aikiko. Do you think the knife used to kill the first Holy Seal Marshals is the one taken by Henry? It's like I'm talking to myself sometimes. Of course I do. Can you describe it? It's a smooth-bladed combat knife. You're positive about the smoothness of the blade? Yes, Lysus Ristos, it hadn't been used before now. My old knife became damaged during a training exercise recently. 
Uh, we'll come back to prying about her and Voth, I think. I don't know if this game will, will have someone actually shut down to the point where they won't talk to me anymore, but... I mean, actually, I suspect it, that that would not happen based on the way that the game has been put together so far previously, but you never know. So I don't want to push on what is clearly the most sensitive topic until I've asked about everything else. I took a blood sample from the dead marshals. They don't match marshal records. What rahat is this now? I don't think those dead bodies are marshals. That is total rahat, investigator. It is not, Aikiko. Something is wrong here. What the hell is going on? You're the thing that's wrong here, Nanorisito. Swaggering around out of exile, making fantasy out of truth. I'm saying Starlight got it wrong. Your little pocket calculator is wrong. Starlight connects to the Central Syndicate. It's wrong. Why wasn't the maintenance grate checked before the council entered the building? It was, several days ago. It's since been tampered with, and your marshals didn't catch it. It's a security breach on your watch. I'll look into it. A little late now. Why didn't you let Doomjazz investigate the dead bodies of the Marshal Guards? There was no need. They had been carved up by the monster who, as I keep saying, is in custody. Surely even the investigation freak can see it's an open and shut case. If it was, I wouldn't be here. Tell me about you and Voth. Captain Voth. Magia, don't speak about my marshals without proper rank. You were in a relationship with him. Relationships between myself and the marshals is expressly forbidden. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. Watch yourself, Nanorisito. A lot of murder has happened on this island. Would anyone notice some pizza investigator going missing? Hmm. So, I mean, she's directly threatening the investigator, which doesn't usually look good when there's a criminal murder investigation going on. You know, murder threats generally should be uh, not on your docket if you are trying to avoid being accused of murder. Got a minute, Aikiko? You're going to die. Humor me. Having fun playing detective? I think I will antagonize her because... Uh, fuck her, she's being extremely obstructive to my incredibly nosy investigations. Having fun playing soldier? I'll cut you from head to crotch, the Norisito. Violence doesn't solve everything, Aikiko. It would, in this case. Hurry up and get this investigation done. I'm waiting for you to tell me what I already know. What you already know? That Labigu in the cage. He needs a bullet between the eyes. That hasn't been proven yet. An investigator needs to soak in the facts, breathe in the evidence, savor the test it. Taki Draculi Dingura. I don't care. Thanks, Aikiko. This has been delightful. <laughs> wow, relationship increased. Maybe we'll have some kind of horrible hate fuck experience later on. May your night be bright, and may you reach the moon. Well, uh, that's everything Aikiko has to tell us. And it looks like next episode we may get the opportunity to talk to the accused, but probably not. So join me again in this remarkably hellish location next time. I want... Hmm, actually, before I go, I'm kind of surprised there's no Shinjis on this island. I wonder if that's because she's here. Or I wonder if that actually ties into what's going on. Hmm, after all, Shinji is a demon, so... I think that's, that's information worth keeping in my mind, although I suspect that that is information that the game designers... I like this game, but I, th I don't think they're operating on that kind of level. I don't think that they're putting that level of thought into where things are and what we hear and things of that nature. But these speculations can be saved for another time. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.